Well, hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to another Monday morning shave. And normally uh, for Monday mornings, I just, you know, use the old standbys like the old Barbasol and, you know, my, uh, my Rockwell or something like that. But I've got some stuff here on the counter that I was sent by a friend of the channel, Dan Omansky. Thank you, Dan. He said, hey, I'm gonna send you some stuff from the West Coast shaving that they offer. And I said, well, I can't. And he knew that I'm a, a, a mentholated uh, freak. I'm a menth head, I think is, is, is what he said. Uh, someone said that about me recently and I, I can't disagree uh, with it. Um, so he said, I'm gonna send you a couple of things that are like super mentholated. And I said, okay, you can send me that stuff, but I've got this blizzard that's very mentholated and so much so that it makes my eyes water and it's a little too much. It's a little too much. I like it, but it's a bit much. So what he did was, he ordered some stuff from West Coast Shaving and had him send it to me. So thank you, Dan, for doing that. And we're gonna shave with that stuff today. And uh, the razor I'm gonna use today will be, I'm going back for the Mercur, or the Mercur, future. Uh, I backed it down to a two. I think, what was I on, like four? The very first time I tried this, like on Friday, and people were like, four, are you crazy? And I said, I don't know. I'm just trying it out. So I, I'm man enough to say I'm backing it back down because then I tried it on a three and it was still pretty aggressive. I think this is a pretty aggressive razor. This is a lot of razor, as I said to someone in the comments. So I backed it on back down to two and we're gonna try that out. So I've done the four, or was it four and a half? And then I did the three. I did the two. Did I do the two? No, I did the three last and now I'm gonna try the two. I haven't done that yet. And uh, the brush I'm gonna use will be my Frank shaving brush. Now, I still can't tell if this is an actual uh, <laughs> pure bristle, you know, actual uh, badger or, or if it's synthetic. I just can't tell and I can't tell from their literature. So the last one I used was this and I think we, we figured out that it was synthetic because it works so well. So I'm going to try this one. I don't think I'd try this one yet. And there's what they look like together. Like a little brother and then a bigger brother with a bigger brush, bigger knot. Um, and what Dan sent me was a couple of packs of blades, some Astro, which I'd never tried and people always talk about, and some Paul Silver Super Iridium. And these look like they're made in the Czech Republic, perhaps? I, it's hard to tell. There's some writing on there that I don't recognize that looks like it might be either Polish or Czech or something. <laughs> I apologize. I'm not going to use these today. I'll use those in another one. But I am using the two products that he sent me, the main products, the mentholated. Now, it's freezing cold outside today. It's like 29 degrees, and for us here in Texas, that's freezing cold. Uh, I took a walk today through that freezing cold, so about 45 minutes to work and 45 back, because I don't know why. Because I love cold weather. I love cold. I grew up in Houston where it was always muggy and warm, and I just love cold weather. So to add on top of the cold weather outside, I'm gonna use these products that Dan sent me. This is the Chiseled Face Grumatorium Cryogen Ultra Mentholated Shaving Soap. So there's that, and then they also, Chiseled Face Grumatorium, makes the Cryogen Ultra Mentholated Aftershave. Now I haven't used this yet, but I did try this out, not only on myself, but also my, my youngest son, that I think I described in the last one, and he did not like this. This was too, <laughs> we were pretend, I think I said that in the last shave, we were pretending to shave. He was, he had a razor with no blade in it, and I gave him a little splash of this at the end. But anyway, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna add insult to injury. It was freezing cold today on my walk to and from work, and now it's time to get cold in the bathroom. All right, I took a shower, did my hair. I'm gonna put some hot water up on my face. I uh, was looking into how they make menthol crystals. And it comes originally from, I believe, the peppermint plant, the mint plant. And then they'd, I wasn't able to, I, well, I say I wasn't able, I did about three, three minutes of research and then gave up. <laughs> I, I, had, I had better things to do. Because um, I'm thinking about getting some menthol crystals and making my own super mentholated something. I'm not going to tell you exactly what. Because if I do it, you're, you're going to call me crazy, and I, I don't want that. I don't want you to stop my momentum. Anyway, so I'm getting this brush down here wet, because I just don't know if it's an actual badger brush. It seems to be. So I don't want to put too much water, because I don't want to drown it. But here's what the, uh, oh, let me put the, the chiseled face cryogen. This is what it looks like 
in the container. It's uh, semi-firm, so it's not like a real hard puck and it's not like a real soft cream. So I'm just gonna start trying to get some of this on this brush here. I might have too much water. Let me shake a little bit of water out. If you got too much water, you can always get rid. And if you don't have enough, you can always add. Does that make sense? Sure. Uh, oh, they're getting some nice, uh, some some lather kind of getting there on the uh, on the brushes. I like to kind of pick it up off of that because, as you know, I'm, I'm half lazy and I don't like to to use a bowl. All right, put some more water up on my face just because. Is that too much? Maybe we'll see. We'll find out together. Man, I'll tell you, this is a good brush too. And if it is an actual badger brush, and it feels like it. Like you can kind of tell. <coughs> that was not the mentholatum. I mean the uh, the menthol. That was uh, me accidentally breathing in my own spit. Sorry about that. I'll, should I edit that out? I don't know. It might give you a laugh. Uh, you can tell the difference when you've been using a synthetic brush when you then try a real badger brush. And I'm thinking this might be a real badger brush. It's working well, so I think I got the right amount of uh, water to soap ratio, so that's good. Might be a little dry. I might could, you know, dab a little bit more. Maybe I'll do that. I'll put a little bit more water on. I don't want to drown it. I'm gonna play cautious. Oh, this is good. This is mentholated. This is nice. It's not making my eyes water yet like that blizzard, so this might be the right amount of menthol. Okay, we got the Mercure. I, I asked a, a German, a native German speaker who lives in Germany how to pronounce it, and I, he gave me the phonetic pronunciation. I think it's Merkur. So it's not Merker. Even though we're in America, it's Merkur. Kind of like the Mercury Merkur. You remember that car from the 80s, I think it was? Let's try it. Here we go. On two. One, two. You can really hear those whiskers coming off of this thing. And even on two. This is an aggressive razor. Somebody also in the comments was talking about the, um, another YouTube shaver who uh, did a review of his Mercure future. It's probably Futur. That's French, that's kind of French. Uh, anyway, I believe he's called the, uh, the mad scientist of wet shaving, his channel. And he did not like this Mercure future because he called it into question, and I think rightly so, the safety of handling it when you're putting the blade in and then adjusting it. He cut himself pretty badly, and he's a professional shaver. If you check out his, his channel, and uh, he didn't like it because of that. And I could see his point because the, it's weird how you just pry off the top, you know? I will always prefer a butterfly twist to open mechanism over like a two piece or a three, now my eyes are starting to water. A two piece or a three piece razor for that very thing alone is that it's safer to handle the blades when you're just unscrewing it from the bottom, it pops open and Place the blade right on there. You know, I think I could do two and a half on this thing. And that's another thing. You know, you can change the, uh, on these adjustable razors, you can change throughout your shave. Like on the first pass, make it aggressive and then make it, you know, a little bit less aggressive as you go along. But I don't necessarily feel the need to do that myself. I just use like a, a lighter touch. But for beginning, for beginner, uh, you know, double-edged safety razor users, that is a really good bit of advice. Now, I do have problems with this razor. And I think, first of all, the aesthetics of it, I think it, it looks a little silly to me. Uh, somebody compared it to um, Gort from The Day the Earth Stood Still, and I thought that was a good, a good way of looking at it. It does kind of, if you're familiar with that robot from that 1950s movie, this kind of looks like Gort. You know, the Klaatu Barada Nikto guy. Anyway, and the fact that it doesn't have knurling on the handle, so it's, you know, could, isn't as 
You can't grip it as well as you could if it had knurling on the, on the handle. I'm just about getting the water to soap right, and I'm pretty sure this is a badger brush. I smelled it beforehand, and I looked at it, and I read their literature, the Frank Shaving literature. Anyway, sorry, I don't want to watch those videos where the guys, like, take 15 minutes and put the soap on their faces. Like, what are you doing? Get on with it. I don't want to be one of those guys. And the other thing is the head of this thing is so big that I really can't get those little whiskers right underneath my nostril, which are always a problem. So that, I had to t bust out my, uh, my Rockwell to get those yesterday. I used this yesterday. On a three, so there's some design uh, aspects of this thing that I would change. Not that they care, but it's not necessarily my favorite razor. But thanks again to Nathan for sending it all the way from Thailand. Yeah, it's real loud. I wonder if uh, the handle is semi-hollow and allowing the, uh, the noise from the head to sort of be amplified kind of like an acoustic guitar does with the vibration of the strings. Speaking of that, I think more and more people have found my other secret music channel. Now remember, the only thing is kind of like Fight Club. Don't talk about Fight Club. Don't talk about my other channel, but if you find it, keep it to yourself and let other people work to find it. It's not that hard, <laughs> and it's not really a secret. Yeah, so this is uh, the third time I believe I've shaved with this razor since Friday. Or, you know, Friday and then... I can't remember if I shaved on Saturday. This is a fascinating video, folks. I'm glad you're here to watch me, you know, go through senile moments of uh, trying to remember when I did and didn't shave. Now I know why you're subscribed. You want to see me fall apart on film, don't you? Oh, well, it's happening. It's happening. All right. Always have this. Always have this unless I go sideways. But the last time I did that, I nicked myself up. and I don't think I want to do that. It doesn't bother me. Although the Parker 99, 99R got rid of it really well. Oh, listen to that. I hear take five in the background. It's kind of like my theme song on this channel. Yeah, okay, this is starting to shed a little bit. It's gotta be a real badger. Sorry, badger, if you gave your life for a shaving brush. But then, maybe they aspire to that. Maybe a badger you know, lives kind of a mundane life, unless he becomes a high-end shaving brush. And then again, if he gets featured on some sort of shaving video on YouTube, well, they probably talk about that in their little badger dens. All right. So yeah, on two, this razor is aggressive. I haven't gotten any nicks yet. So that's good. But it's also not like, uh, you know, making super quick work of my whiskers. So I might put it back on a three. I'm not sure. Depends on how much I end up shaving with this one. So I was in Target yesterday, the same Target where I was recognized, <laughs> that nice fella the other day, and I was in the shaving aisle, strangely enough. Actually, it was an end cap, and I noticed they had a new Barbasol can out, and it looks like this, but it was thinner around, like the circumference was smaller, and like if you felt this side of the can, it had a little, it was like a, a, a relief map. You could feel the lines, like indentations. So I don't know what that's about, 
But that was the only kind they had. They didn't have this smooth can. So I might have to investigate further. Or uh, Daniel, if, they're, if you're out there, Daniel at Barbasol, if you're in your, your guys, if you're rolling out this new can, let us know the particulars. Because it's something new that I haven't seen in years. I mean, they've changed the graphics on these cans, but they've always kept the same circumference of the can. It's something new. Something new. All right. I think that's about it, folks. Oh, it's not quite it, though, because I got that last little hit of menthol, don't I? Oh, I gotta get my fix. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, there's this, but I'm not, I'm not gonna go sideways. Not today. It's Monday, forget about it. All right, let me wash my face off. Now, this is gonna hurt with cold water, because the water is extra cold because it's so cold outside. Oh! Ah, oh, mamma mia. Hoo-wee! All right. Sometimes... I don't know what I'm doing. All right. All right, I think I can do this. Now the scent on this aftershave, I've been trying to place it. It's a beautiful color in a cool little like whiskey bottle. You keep this in your in your back pocket and you know, just carry it around, take a little nip out of it every now and then. <laughs> don't do that, I keep saying that, I keep making that joke. Please don't drink aftershave. I don't care how much alcohol is in it. Um, so, it, oh, here's the ingredients. First of all, alcohol, and then witch hazel, aloe barbadensis leaf, uh, leaf juice, sorry, menthol, calendula, sodium lactate, vitamin B5 Pro, and astaxanthin. Ask your doctor about astaxanthin. All right, let's try this out. So it's kind of a, I'm still a little stopped up, probably from walking two hours in, you know, freezing weather, which is silly. So it's kind of a, a little bit spicy, a little bit almost like bay rum, but not at all like bay rum, but somewhere in that range, kind of a bay rum, I mean, even though there's no bay in here. It's really, it smells great. Thanks again, Dan Omansky, for sending me these things. I mean, it's just too generous for you guys. Oh, it almost, what does it smell like? It smells like... Like a kind of liquor, but I can't place it. Oh, I accidentally, sh that's not aftershave, that is booze. <laughs> no, it does smell like some sort of a liquor that I can't quite place. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. The chiseled face cryogen, because it's so dang cold. <sighs> wow. Dare me to go outside right now, shirtless in the 29 degree weather. Dare me? Dare I? <sighs> no, come on. No, you're not serious. No, come on. No, I was kidding. I can't in the just in the towel in the. You're gonna make me do this, aren't you? Mighty. All right, all right. I said I wanted to kick it up. Thanks again, Dan, for sending me these things. That's the end of the shave, and now the torture. I don't know how you talked me into this. Let's go out in the backyard real quick on the porch. See how cold it really is. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm a, I'm. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go outside. It's 29 degrees outside right now. So I brought something to keep me warm in case I get cold. This will warm me up if I get outside because it is so cold. Now I'm gonna put that down. <laughs> okay. Here we go outside. Whew. There's the backyard. There, you can see it now in the daylight. Oh my gosh, I hope the neighbors aren't looking. Oh, it's not that bad. I mean, it's cold, but it actually feels kind of good. God, I'm weird. I'm so weird. Got a good shave. Got some cryogen on my face. Not gonna, not gonna need the Osage rub today. But anyway, thanks for joining me. This is a weird ending, I know. I apologize, but I had to do it in the name of science because I am a menthead. My name is Sinatra Lennon. Oh, it's too cold. Okay, see you guys later.